What is up guys, you were with Light Jack and today I'm going to be doing something just a little bit different than usual. Today I'm going to be showing you how to stop your Minecraft from crashing. Now here recently in the 1.8 and 1.9 versions of Minecraft, crashing and error messages and just problems and bugs and stuff have, are becoming more common for some reason. Now I don't quite know if Mojang just doesn't notice this or if they do and they have been trying to fix it and it just doesn't seem to be working. Now, as you can see here on screen, here are four of the most common uh, Minecraft error messages. The two in blue are really common. I, I had these ones like a while ago, actually, back in like 2015. But down here are some of the least common ones that are actually starting to become a bit more common, especially this one right here, which I will talk about somewhat near the end of the video. But anyway, real fast, let's go ahead and talk about the failed to write core dump. Many dumps are not enabled by default on client versions of Windows. Now, this one right here has to do with a couple things, and I'm going to show you guys how to do it first type percent app data percent and a roaming file ought to come up now what you want to do once you are in here is you go to dot minecraft you go down to the options text right here you can make a full screen if you want but if you want to what you need to do is you need to go over here to fbo enabled and set that to false now i'm not going to do that because i currently do not have this problem anymore but if you happen to have this problem right here where it says fail the right core dump. Many dumps are not enabled by default on client versions of Windows then what you need to do like I said is just change this right here from FBO enabled true to FBO enabled false in lowercase. There you go. Now if this one right here is not your problem your problem is more than likely this where it says ALC cleanup one device not closed. Now this can either be caused by your Java version, your Minecraft or a couple of things overall. Now how you do that is you once again type in app data with percents on the beginning and the end of it like so and what you want to do is go back into roaming go back to dot minecraft is here in the options thing as well and there's multiple ways that this can happen now one of the most common ones is this right here and it says use vbo set that to true i have mine set to false because like i said i already have fixed this problem in other ways but if you just have if you just so happen to have this problem right here where it says one device not closed alc cleanup at the beginning of that um, you can either change this right here to use VBO to true or you can also do what I did before this and set the FBO enabled to false as well. They do similar things but I suggest that if you happen to have only this problem right here only change the FBO I'm sorry the VBO but if you happen to have both of these problems every once in a while and just change both of them this one right here should be true and this one should be false okay so the third one I want to talk about real fast is actually the texture is stuck in 480 no I do not know the exact text of what this says so I just went ahead and typed in texture stuck in 480 basically like what it does is you you open up your minecraft and your textures are stuck as this right here 854 by 480 now how you change that is what you want to do is you want to click resolution and type this in right here you want to just type in 512 and then 512 right here now don't quote me on this exactly because I've never had this problem it is actually pretty rare to find nowadays um, but I'm not going to do that um, I'm going to put it back to 854 I went ahead and put it back to 854 by 480 because this is not a problem for me like I said just change that to 512 512 and make sure you have that checked okay so before we go and cover this one right here I'd like to talk about a couple little minor errors that happens every once in a while this first one has to do with Optifine and shaders and it's actually a pretty simple fix. All you really need to do is make sure you have the latest version of Optifine or the shaders that you're using. Um, before this, I had the Optifine 1.8.9 HU underscore, sorry, HD underscore U underscore H1, and I've also had H3. Now, at the moment, it is currently uh, March 27, 2016, so the most recent one for 1.8.9 is H5. Make sure you have the most recent Optifine or shader pack. Uh, update because that could be one of the main problems as well. Okay, so the other minor error I like to talk to you guys about real fast has to do with this down here, and that is the Java settings advanced. Now, what you want to do is click executable, go down here, go to your computer, go to your hard drive, local disk, whatever the heck it could be called, go to program files times 86, go and find Java, go into here, go into bin, and then all you need to do is click right here, right click and just copy it real fast. Now you can go ahead and close this window out. Now we want now what you want to do is go right here and delete everything before the slash right there before the word java w.exe and then what you want to do is you want to use control v 
and paste that in there and what that does is it basically updates this right here to the current version of how your folders and stuff are set up and it makes it to where um, your minecraft is a bit more stable now if you don't if you're not having any problems regarding java do not do this because it could mess up your game for instance i do not have any problem whatsoever so i'm just going to cancel that if you did have a problem just click save profile as you exit okay so the last error i'd like to talk to you guys about before i tell you guys the final error is this right here where it basically says that your minecraft has run out of memory and you need to allocate more ram to minecraft now how you do that is all you need to do is type this in right here um, it will be in the description so you can just copy and paste it now keep in mind before you press save profile make sure that you have a 64-bit version of java or this is going to crash your minecraft like crazy because java is normally in 32-bit whenever you download it there are 64 bits if i can find the link i'll leave it down below um, I'm sorry guys, but like it's really kind of annoying that Java is automatically 32 bit. I really wish the Java came out with like a fully official 64 bit, but they have not. I mean, Oracle hasn't. Oracle hasn't anyway. Um, so yeah, this is the command for this. I mean, if you just so happen to need this command right here, like the default, there it is right there. I'll let you look at it real fast. I mean, it will also be in the description, so you know, and just in case you happen to need this right here. But anyway, that is the last minor error that I want to talk to you guys about now right here this right here is the one that was happening to me the most these two happened at first and then this one right here just started popping up all over the place now there is a really easy fix for this actually um, there's two of them one of them works one of them works almost every time and one of them it's just kinda like hit or miss now more than likely if you're getting this error right here either you are not using the 64 bit of Java with increased RAM or you're using shaders or optifine now whenever you tend to use optifine you will have this right here you're going to use the optifine profile right well if this error is coming up right here you can put it back to your default minecraft name which for me is Wiley J and what you can do is you can just play using this right here instead of optifine I don't know why optifine made as another profile there really isn't much of a reason for it because it doesn't matter which one you use um, plus this one right here tends to cause errors now one of the other solutions for fixing this and any of the other ones is completely uninstalling minecraft now, real fast I will show you guys how to do that it's actually pretty simple believe it or not now keep in mind you want to be kinda careful when you're doing this so that you don't uninstall the wrong files or anything here's what you need to do you need to type in app data with percents at the beginning and end like I said like I did before go into roaming and you need to find your dot minecraft which is almost always right here at the top now if you happen to have any saves or anything in here like for instance if you happen to have like worlds or something you want to save uh, just pull out the saves folder and put it on your desktop right here as you can see I just did now go ahead and back out of that right click on minecraft and delete it now you're probably sitting here thinking okay I just deleted minecraft right no you didn't delete all of it you still have the uh, shortcut on your desktop or somewhere so you just need to type in minecraft or fast and then what we need to do is just uh, delete that as well there you go and then go empty your recycling bin out just to make sure that is completely off your computer completely there you go it's gonna take just a little bit of time because I got some video files still in there alright so now if you type in minecraft the minecraft file should not come up um, if it does happen to come up again right here that's perfectly fine just pull that from here over into here go here and then type in minecraft one more time right click it delete yes there you go now real quick you just need to do this now minecraft is 100 percent off of your computer so now that you have uninstalled minecraft you're going to want to reinstall it now how you do this is you go to minecraft.net slash download it'll bring you here there's two options to get Minecraft for Windows. It is do the Minecraft.msi or Minecraft.exe. Now, MSI uses an installer, which I like, or there's also exe, which does not use an installer. Now, I like to use the Minecraft.msi mainly because I like using installers instead of just downloading the program by itself. So, what you want to do is go ahead, download that, run it, go ahead and go in here, just press next and everything on whatever comes up. And then click install, wait for it to install, and once it is installed, I will see you guys then. Okay, now that you have installed Minecraft and logged in using your email and password, 
What you want to do real fast is make sure that you have your profile set to your username in game and then set the version that you like to use the most to the version and then click save profile. Then what you want to do is just launch the game real fast once. Okay, now what you need to do once you open up the game is just make sure that the game runs correctly and it should once since you've reinstalled it, there's nothing wrong with it. I'm going to go ahead and connect to a server real quick. Okay, so now that I hear now that I'm here on the server, none of my settings have been saved or anything. This is the default Minecraft, like the field of view is all out of whack and stuff for me. Text is hum chat is humongous, I mean. And the game looks all ugly because you know there's no optifying, you don't have a texture pack put in, and you just needed to run the game basically. Now what you need to do is just disconnect, click cancel, and then go to quit game. Now what you need to do is go ahead and install Optify, and what you want to do is go down here. Click on the whatever version you just played and install that real fast by just clicking download. Now when AdFly will probably come up, but not probably, it will come up. Just wait 5 seconds up here and then click skip add. Now a window will probably pop up, yeah like that. A uh, bit of a tip, never open anything, never do anything on this window whatsoever. Because, <laughs> because that is a fake window and it, there's a big chance that it has viruses or something connected to it. Now once this Optifine file is installed, what you want to do is you want to go to wherever you installed it, click on it, click install, and it will say Optifine is successfully installed. Click OK, and there you go, and you now have Optifine. Now real fast, if you want to get a texture pack, what you need to do is you need to go to whatever texture pack site you have. I like using BD Craft or Spax, depending on whatever you want to call it. And what you need to do is you need to find the texture pack that is right for you. Now if you happen to be using Spax, um, just find the one with the green thumb by it or any of the blue check marks will work as well. Um, make sure you get the Minecraft version that you want, for instance like 1.9, 1.8, 1.7, similar stuff like that. Um, just get whichever one you have and just click on it and install it. Now once it has been installed, what you want to do is you want to drag the file that you have wherever your downloads are and then put it on your desktop. Now what it should be is a zipped file more than likely. How you need you need to unzip it for it to work correctly in Minecraft. So what you do is you right click it, you either go to extract all or unzip. Uh, it is said that on like multiple different like platforms it will either say unzip or extract. Now because I have a pretty detailed texture pack there's a decent amount of items and stuff in it sorry guys. And uh, once that is gone ahead and copied all of them it will have a, an unzipped or extracted folder down right here. And now we're going to be able to put that into Minecraft itself. Alright, so here we go. We have it right here. Now how you need to do this is you go into percent app data once again. You go to roaming, you go to your dot minecraft, you go into here to resource packs, and then just pull this in here, close this out, and make sure just like completely turn off Minecraft, whether it's a launcher or not. So now that you have gotten your texture pack installed, all that you need to do is go in here, just press play, make sure you have it set to the Optifine uh, profile if you're using Optifine. Click play and then it's going to have to load up the texture pack real fast and just make sure like everything just happened, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, so I'll show you guys what to do once you get in game. Okay now as you can see it is currently loaded up in the basic Minecraft look which is disgusting. Um, but anyway, <laughs> what you want to do is uh, you just go ahead and mess around with your settings, set everything however the heck you like it. For instance, you know, I don't like the music, I don't like the weather, just do all your settings and stuff. I'm not going to do all that on camera. Um, but how you change it from basic Minecraft to whatever texture pack you have is you just go over here, click this. This is going to be over here forever. You're not going. You're not going to be able to remove it. Click done. Your Minecraft is going to freeze for a second, and sometimes it takes really long depending on how strong the computer you have. And now, as you see, it is currently now a completely different looking version of Minecraft. It is Fax, 128 bits, so we know it looks pretty nice. Um, I really like how this texture pack looks. Uh, I don't, I'm not quite sure what the zoom button was. I don't quite remember. <laughs> Is it C? There we go. Yeah, as you can see now, yeah, you can zoom. You can use like F1. It, the game looks really nice, as you can see. Um, it is a bit buggy at the moment because I'm recording in a non-gaming uh, setup for recording. As you can see, the game looks nice now. Your texture pack is loaded, and you're basically good to play Minecraft. Okay, so now that I've shown you guys how to fix all the problems and stuff for Minecraft, I really hope that this video uh, helped you guys out a lot. Now, I know this video probably didn't cover every single possible error, it's just like some of the most common, some of the actually rather rare things that are becoming more common. But anyway, I just really hope that this video helped a lot of you guys out. Um, I've never uploaded a video like this, and I really hope that this tutorial does pretty well here on YouTube. 
Anyway, but real fast, I can thank you guys so much for watching this. If you liked it, don't be afraid to tell me that down below. But leave it in a like, comment, subscribing, and sharing it to you, whoever you want. Anyway, I'll see you guys in next video. Goodbye.